Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a prep video slash grocery haul. Um, we've got to get ready for our large, I think I'm gonna go every two weeks. We did the once a month grocery haul, that worked beautifully. We still have a lot of meat in the freezer. Um, but then I found myself having to do little fill-ins here and there because Jackson is now uh, vegetarian. Um, and Shamika bought him a book. It's Where's the book, buddy? It's called Vegan Keto. Well, he's the only vegan up in here. I mean, he's vegetarian, but Shamika's going to try to push vegan because she's vegan. More power to all the people who want to do all the things. But he brought, he sent, she sent him a book. So anyway, because he is eating some different things than we are, I've had to pick up a few little things for him. And I don't want to have to keep doing that. And we have tried to use up as much of our things as possible. And so now it is time to, oh look, yes, vegan keto. She got him that. And we're going to go through this and see if we can't figure out um, some of the recipes he can use. I think he might can tell you this better. One of the issues with vegetarian that he's having is trying to figure out what to eat because we didn't go into it with a plan. So we're going to try to do a little better with our plan. So I'm going to share with you what we have kind of in the fridges and freezers, in the pantry, and then we're going to make our grocery list. I did also want to thank Deb and Tiffany um, and Karen for sending uh, coupons in the mail. I went to the P.O. Box today, got some great coupons in the mail, y'all. Man, I'm getting ready to get my um little pouch together. It does so much better to take my big notebook, but I'm still not. I want to decide about that because when it's in that little pouch and I have to go through it, that's not helpful. I need my notebook so I can just kind of flip, 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 flip. That makes it better for me because I am probably going to hit Harris Teeter I'm going to hit Food Line and uh, Walmart. Those are the places I've been getting some really good deals at. Lately, uh, over the last month or so, when I would pop into Aldi and get produce, it lasts about a day. And I don't have money like that to waste. So, that's what I think I'm going to do. But let me share with you what is in the fridge. All right, so here's what we have uh, in the fridge. So a couple condiments. Some of these will actually be done. I know this is almost, well, this is almost done. A couple more coffees. We do need some mayo. Everything else here, uh, we'll probably need some sugar-free uh, relish. Everything else here is okay. Um, we have eggs, but we will definitely need more eggs. And then as far as veggies, we're going to have to do the full gamut of veggies. So we have almond milk. We have some uh, chicken salad and some lettuce. I bought this for Jack. That's um, Parmesan cheese to go on his noodles. Now, let's see. Okay. This is lettuce from our garden. That came out of our garden. We'll try to eat that today if we can. Um... Butter is always something that we buy. We don't need cream cheese because we have several of those. Um, we got the mozzarella cheese. This is for fathead dough. Um, and then these are just uh, things we need to eat in the fridge. A couple deviled eggs in there. Uh, there's some more spinach. I meant some more lettuce that we got off of the, from out of the garden. Um, broccoli, we just have a little bit left. We've been eating that spinach. That looks like a cabbage in the back. And we have another cabbage. So we will use up those items. Going shopping Friday or Saturday. So we'll focus the next couple days. I may do some cabbage steaks. We do like cabbage steaks. But we like those wrapped in regular bacon, not the thick cut in pieces. So I may have to get some regular bacon to do um, bacon wrapped cabbage steaks. So we'll see about that. All right, moving here. These are oranges for our um, garbage disposal. They were some that Jackson didn't get a chance to eat. So we cut them and we froze them. 
We have plenty of meat. So meat is not our issue. We have a plenty of meat. Um, plenty of stock, cream cheese. What is this? Oh, that's a ham bone. Okay, plenty of meat in there and in the outside freezer. Um, okay, we just made a keto dessert the other night. We have keto bagels. We need to actually double this recipe again so that we'll have a week's worth, which that can already go in a Ziploc bag so that we can get that off from here. Then um, we're just gonna clean up everything. Grab that pot lid for me. Thank you, Baba. Um, this will need to go in here. What is this? No, use the white sauce that's already in the fridge. Let's not keep opening stuff when we already have stuff open. Sir, sir. Oh, yes, ma'am. Here, right. put that back. White sauce and Parmesan cheese, live your best life. It's one of the problems you have with kids is they never think, okay, let's finish something. It's like, okay, let's eat something else. No, let's not. Let's finish what we have. Um, some waters in here would be very helpful. Um, plenty of condiment things of the stuff that we use. So there's plenty of condiments here. We do have more white sauce. We have ranch. So those things that we do use. Plenty of barbecue. This is the um, Sweet Baby Ray's No Sugar Added Hickory. And then we have one of the um, originals. Deb sent me a um, free coup a coupon for one of those free. And then these are things that I got for Jackson. A couple things of beans. Some people asked me, was he eating beans? Um, he had not been, but I got him a couple cans of beans to see which of those he liked. I got him some egg noodles as well and some refried, uh, some fried onions to go on his, um, what is that? Mashed potatoes that I got for him. And then he can make choices or decisions as some rice. I do have very strong issues with the things that I buy in the house because it's not my diet. And I want to keep consistent to my diet. So to my lifestyle change, it does make a difference for me um, when I bring things into the house. I do feel some type of way, but I also realize that you know, he's wanting to try some things, so I'm not trying to not allow for him to try things. So I do have some slight, I don't know, it's just things that I think about, like this is not what I normally buy in the house. And I don't like having it in here. But again, just supporting his efforts. This my son bought, and I told him to take it when he left. He wanted me to make him some banana bread. Some regular banana bread. He didn't want keto banana bread. And so I made it for him. But I did ask him to take that away. And he did not. Because we don't use oil. And so. Um, well we don't use vegetable oil. So I'll leave it here. And hopefully the next time he comes. He will take it with him. So I told him just to get a, a little tiny one. Because we just don't use it. And again, I don't want to get into the habit of getting going back into a carb land because my body likes carbs. My, I mean, well, I like carbs. It doesn't do my body well. So that could be dinner. Yeah, let's do that for dinner since it's already out. Yes, love. These are mine? Yes, ma'am. Oh, thanks. Okay. Okay. And then I'll get those dishes in just a little bit. So that's what we have. We've got one of the uh, diet crayons, um, one of the sparkling clear waters. Jackson has pretzels. I think he's got a couple of those in the garage. Those are all the pork rinds that we have. And we look like we are slimming down. Still have lots of things. It's just putting those things together and really taking an inventory and stock. So we have one spaghetti squash. Um, two cabbage, one thing of, um, we have green beans in there, so we're going to have to make something with those green beans, y'all. Okay. Spaghetti squash, and we can eat it with the meatballs. We'll do it tomorrow. 
But what is this down here, this bowl situation? This Jackson. No, this white one. I don't have my glasses yes, on. Yes, that's Jackson. But what is it? Oh, it's my brown sugar thing. What? Brown sugar cinnamon thing. No, let's put that in a um a little oh, tiny yeah. one. Snack bag. Or a Ziploc bag. Yeah, take that out. Anything that can come out, please. Let's take that out, please. Thank you, sir. And then you said that's broccoli? Yeah, that tiny bit. Okay, so do you see that um, spinach? Yeah. Let's go ahead and put that down here. We've got some carrots. We've got shredded carrots and uh, baby carrots. We're going to put the spinach down there. I think there's some blackberries in there as well. Spinach where? In here? In one of those. There are baby carrots down there. And there's also that um, thing for egg roll in a bowl. Yes, we got two of those. So within the next day or so. Pull that other cabbage out from back there. I think that's a cabbage. Oh, that's fine. That's perfect. We'll make cabbage in the next two or three days. We'll do. I'll get some of the regular sliced bacon and we'll do cabbage steaks. Bacon wrap cabbage. It'll be perfectly fine. Yeah. If we can just um, scrape that into the bacon grease bowl, it'll work out just fine. And then I'm gonna we're gonna get these into some Ziploc bags. Alana made those using coconut flour, and you thought they were okay. She thought it was good. All right, you guys. So here is my outside uh, freezer inventory. This is from the sixth of uh, May. We still have, well, we don't, some of these things are not here. Yeah, All the cauliflower is gone. The ground beef is gone. Um, tilapia is gone. Shrimp is gone. Radishes we have. I'm going to put radish hash on my list because some people have been asking me to share that recipe. Um, broth bags, we probably only have a trillion now. I mean, a, a couple hundred thousand because I've been using those. Um, I don't even know what pizza is. Pizza sauce, maybe. So some of these things are gone, and we do need to make an adjustment on that. Um, so I was saying that I got some coupons in the mail today, and this was so good, which is hard to do with one hand. Look at that. Lily's chocolate bar. You never find coupons for those. And they have them now. They're like $3 and change. Now, I have not had any. Um, we've had cho Lily's chocolate chips when I've made keto desserts. But I haven't bought any um, sugar-free candy. I haven't bought any diet drinks in my groceries lately. So I got these coupons. And then... I got this, which I thought was very neat. This came from Deb in California. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Um, I always like getting, see, I always like getting these um, recipes because we eat tilapia. So here is a Mediterranean roasted tilapia. That would be lovely. Look at it. So I always, and then the dipping sauce, dipping oil. I love to get um, things like this with, you know, recipes and different things. And if I don't have an ingredient, like if I don't have Cento Italian balsamic glaze, I can sub that out with something else. But I always like, oh, there's a bolognese sauce. I can make that keto friendly. So I always like to see what I can come up with. Um, but there was, oh, there were coffee coupons this week. Sorry, y'all. It's hard to do with one hand. Oh, okay, here we go. So these were some, oh, oh there's some more in there. Awesome coupons that I know I would use. Chobani, because I could get that on a deal. That might even be free. Um, let me see. Here's some of the Cento. I would definitely look at, um, Harris Teeter to see if they have those since they double the coupons. And then Jackson eats the pasta, so I would look for this. I think I've seen this before at Harris Teeter. I know we've seen that. Um, so any of the things that I can find at Harris Teeter because they double the coupons, 
99 cents or less. Okay, here was Folgers. I always um, can use coffee. And then sweetened condensed milk. I don't use this, but I do know somebody who would. So I would look for that as a coupon. I do like Mrs. Dash. So there was another coupon and then some veggies if there's some on sale. Um, here was some for sun-dried raisins. And then here was for almond milk. The kids and I do almond milk. Um, and then we have a friend that has a, a cat. So there was some kitty treats in there. And then ices for the summertime for our backyard get-togethers for different families that would um, come over later in the summer. And then uh, one free uh, good food product. So lots of great coupons um, to be sorted, gone through, and used this particular grocery trip. Because I am going to try to find, I, I might have to go on Saturday, so I have way more time to do my grocery shopping and I'm not being rushed. Because if I go, I have to work on Friday. So if I go on Friday, of course, I'm going to be rushed trying to get everything. So, um, yeah, that's the, I got to go back and update that list. But then Shamika got this for Jackson. This is vegan keto. Now he's vegetarian. She's vegan. But um, these are some things that might be good. Peanut butter, coconut oil, stevia, and dark cocoa powder. These are some um, truffles that we could do. Jackson, my, Jackson likes peanut butter. Sister does not. We have we could do um, avocado mousse parfaits. He might like those. Um, basil pesto. So we got to go through the thing, like I said before, that we did not have predetermined before he just came one day and said, Mom, I'm going to be vegetarian, was a plan. So I've got to help him plan out his menu so that he'll know what it is he wants to eat. Now, this is a good one. Roasted pepper and cauliflower soup. We love cauliflower. So that would be something all of us could eat. Um, serves four. It tells you how many calories, fats, proteins, and then net grams of carbs. Um, that's a Thai cream of broccoli soup, which might he like. This is peanut butter and berry yogurt bowl. Something he might you know, like, so again, there's some options in here. We just have to go through and then I might have him look online for different vegetarian um, dishes that he might want to make so that he's not just eating things like beans. He can actually have a full meal. So we'll go through, figure it out. And then um, I'll come up with a grocery list and then a haul and then a meal plan. Ooh, chocolate avocado ice cream. And we just got an ice cream maker. So we might have to live our best life some kind of way. Mm. All righty, you guys. So here is the very first grocery haul. So remember I said my budget was $52. And we ended up spending less at the beauty shop because I just got a haircut. Instead of getting a hair do and all the things, the relaxer, I actually just got a haircut down to my natural, which is really short. It's a little bit long, longer still than what I would like. But anyway, works out fine. So that ended up um, taking me down to uh, $55 instead of $70. So that gave me 15 more dollars at the grocery store. So 15 added it to 52, $67. And I was bound and determined to stay within my goal. And so remember, I am going at shopping again for my large groceries tomorrow. But this is what I was able to get today. So we went to Walmart and uh, Harris Teeter. So at Walmart, I got uh, strawberries, $1.76. Mini cucumbers were a little over $2. Ranch packets were 50 cents each. Cauliflower, we got four of those. They were a dollar. Salmon was four dollars tilapia was 388 and then the uh, extra large shrimp were 544 two uh sugar-free uh drink packets were a dollar each gala apples were a little over two dollars uh bananas were 45 cents a pound 
Um, some of you said, get Jackson some of the Portobello mushroom check, uh, some of the mushroom caps. And so I actually ended up getting this was $1.68. There's three of those in there. We'll see if he likes those. Um, got butter spray for $1.98. Um, aluminum foil and parchment paper, $2.36 each. And then the 60 count large eggs were $6.27, something like that. 30 count at Harris Teeter were $4.79. So it was cheaper to get them at Walmart this week, even though they were $6. So that's what I got at Walmart. And I paid um, $45.21, something like that. Then I went over to Harris Teeter and got a few things. Uh, so this truly grass-fed butter, this was right beside the Kerrygold. Um, I've never seen this there before, but it was $3.99, buy one, get one free. So I got two of them or a pound for $3.99 of the grass-fed butter. I'm going to give this a try. Um, I'm doing carnivore the first week of June, so I'm going to give that a try. That is on the list. Um, this s'mores Chobani Flip, this was 10 for 10 or a dollar piece. And I had a 50 cent off coupon that doubled to a dollar, so we got that free. Uh, thank you, Deb, for sending those coupons. Uh, this Dukes was $2.19. I had a $0.75 cent off that doubled to $1.50, making that $0.69. Cents, and this one was um, $0.79. That one was a little bit more, $0.99, I think, because I had a $0.55 cent off for that one. Um, these uh, peanut butter brownie filled pretzels, Jackson likes these. They were $4.49. Then these uh, Lenny and Larry's Keto Cookies. I'm going to give these a try. They're also plant-based. They were three for five. Um, I'm in a new keto group. Um, it's from Nicole Burgess's YouTube channel. It's her keto uh, Facebook group. And so I've seen some of these things on there. I didn't have a coupon for it. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I'm going to give it a try. So Lily's is normally like $3.79 but I had a 75 cent off coupon that doubled to $1.50. So like $2.29, something like that. Um, yeah, $2.29. And so thank you, Tiffany. Tiffany sent me those in the, in the mail. I did get all three. And then the solar granola was $5.99. Buy one, get one free. Got that for Jack. And so I ended up spending at Harris Teeter $26 for this and then $45 for this. So you can tell when you're you know, just depending on what you're buying. I got fish, I got cauliflower, I got lots of veggies, $45. I got a few items here for $26. And these are the bagels that um, sister doubled the batch and made bagels for us. So that's this one grocery haul. I am going to film the large grocery haul tomorrow. That's gonna be a separate video. So this grocery haul will come out on Friday and then I'll have the once a month grocery haul come out within the first week of June because uh, I've got budget video and all the things coming out. So anywho, there it is. Thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any comments, leave it down below and we'll see you next time. Bye now.